Okay, now part six of our video here, we are going to work on uh, actually vocabulary bank from unit three, which are remaining, page 43 here. Okay, related to emotions, you remember uh, the same emotions, six important emotions. We talked about them, fear, anger, I don't know, distress, disgust, uh, joy, happiness, these um, emotions. And then we had some uh, adjectives with ED and ING. Uh, we went over them several times with ED, we uh, express feelings. But with ING, uh, an outside factor causes a feeling in somebody okay and uh, there are some as you see here there are some um, adjectives here in this box both with ing and ed you're supposed to put them in their correct places to discern if they are expressing uh, a feeling or if they are talking about an outside factor now, number one, let's start from number one. And before that, as you see in the picture, yes, this person is astonished. Astonished means shocked, surprised. And this lady looks very worried. Now, and mom and dad with their pet are out. Mom and sorry, the baby are out in a park and the uh, actually, they are experiencing a feeling of uh, happiness and relaxing. Uh, going to the park, playing with pets and with little kids induce happiness and joy in your life. Induce, induce means cause, prompts. Okay, now, uh, number one. You want to know more about it, and you give if uh, you give it your attention. So this is the definition, actually. This is the definition. You want to know more about it, and you give it uh, your attention. When you want to give attention to something, then you are interested in it. So I'm interested in what he had to say number two being happy interested and hopeful because something good has happened or is going to happen so when your something is going happen is going to happen something interesting uh, you get what excited very good the kids are getting really excited about the trip. When something is going, something interesting is going to happen, you feel uh, exhausted. It prompts or induces a feeling of excitement inside you, so you are excited. Very surprising. It is astonishing that you didn't know about this astonishing means really surprising look this is the photo of the woman who is astonished and when something is very surprising you it is very astonishing and you are astonished by that number four Making you feel that you want to sleep or rest. It was uh, when something makes you feel that you want to sleep and rest. It is tiring. It was a long, tiring trip. Number five. Extremely interested. Sorry. Extremely interesting. Stumble is a fan. A fascinating city. Fascinating means extremely interesting. Extremely means very, very interesting. So when you want to emphasize that something is 
actually more than interesting stronger adjective for uh, interesting is fascinating number six unhappy because something you hoped because something you hoped for did not happen I'm I was disappointed that I hadn't won number six I was disappointed number seven making you feel sad it is a very depressing book I didn't like it at all so when something is depressing it prompts depression in you prompt means causes number eight extremely unpleasant and making you feel sick what's that smell it is disgusting number nine feeling annoyed upset or impatient because you cannot control change a situation yeah we have been over this it is frustration yeah he gets frustrated when people don't understand what he is saying the situation is frustrating nowadays because you cannot change it you cannot control it so you are frustrated because the situation is frustrating number 10 very frightened I'm absolutely terrified of spiders strong adjective for frightened is terrified and remember with these strong adjectives don't use very when we say something is very bad say it is terrible it is a strong adjective of bad is terrible so with bad you can say very bad but with terrible don't use very because actually very is inside terrible you don't need to add another very for terrible or other strong adjectives that we had in this page thank you so picture a she is astonished means very surprised she's worried she's frustrated very disappointed and he's here excited sorry okay next page multi-word verbs we have been over this before we learned that uh, these multi-word verbs um, you can categorize them here they have been categorized according to the uh, that preposition of of out after and in now uh, we are supposed to match these uh, uh, multi words with their definitions here and also with the photos now let's start with their uh, actually definitions verb plus of number one call him on the phone but we got cut off cut off means yes b the phone suddenly stopped working we got cut off means the phone stopped working number two they had to call off the soccer match because of the weather they had to call off the soccer match because of the weather uh, call off here F decide that a planned event won't happen when you plan something but then you have to cancel it you use call off number number three I have to do this um, work I can't put it off any longer put something off means delay something so for planned action for planned ones that you have to cancel them call off but when you have to do something you have a test I don't know you have 
something to do you put it off means you postpone it delay doing something we have to uh, for example call off our exams because of the for example uh, the problem in the country okay verb plus out number four I'd like to check out some other options check out means get more information about something I, I'm going to check it out for you means to get more information about it number five he's wearing a pink jacket so he will stand out from the crowd to stand out of uh, a place or some people means uh, to be easy to see and notice also somehow close to this one we have outstanding which is an adjective but something is outstanding means it is noticeable it is uh, very good wonderful that everybody can notice easily but this uh, stand out is uh, a verb I can't work out what to do about the problem I can't work out about the problem means yes J decide plan something to solve a problem when you cannot work out the problem means you cannot plan and decide what to do with that problem to deal with the problem to tackle the problem number seven next one verb plus after number seven my neighbor is looking after my cats when we go away look after means take care of something or someone my father is old and we have to look after him means to take care of him number eight he takes after his father they are both very good looking uh, you have studied this one before take after in i1 take after somebody means to yes see look or behave like an older member of their family who do you take after do you take after your mom do you take or do you take after your father means look like and also behave like them number nine also for take after we have another word if you remember inherit inherit some characters from your mother or father uh, number nine verb plus in can you print out and then fill in the form and send it back to me fill in means uh, yes complete write the necessary information in an official document fill in the blanks fill in the questions means give and write necessary information and number 10 Saskia please let me in please let me in let me in means allow me to allow me come in allow me to come in let me in allow me to come in remember that with let we don't use to let me go home but with allow we use to let me to do something let me do something allow me to do something with let without to with allow with to okay now label pictures a to f with the words in the box a which one yeah he's out please let him in so picture a 10 uh, b what is he doing hmm? he is feeling in the form means writing necessary information b9 c 
He has a lot of work to do, so he cannot put it off any longer. Three means uh, delay something, postpone something. Number five, look, this penguin, all of them are gray, but this one is blue. It is eye-catching and it can be seen, spot, discern, recognize very easily. So it stands out from the other crowd. It is noticeable. E. Picture E. Yeah, picture E. Look at him. How is he feeling? He cannot work out the problem. Hmm? He cannot work out what to do about the problem. There is a problem. It is maybe laptop and he cannot work it out. And if... Hmm? Yeah. He has got cut off. He has got cut off. Number one, the phone suddenly, his phone suddenly stopped working. Okay, thank you very much. And this was the end of this part. Thank you. End of vocabulary. Aynen seriyi kurtulduk.